Hi guys, Jeff here, Bike Review. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm out testing Kawasaki's all new W800 Cafe. So it's a heavily updated W800 this year, and this is the first time they've had a cafe version of it. So as you can see, it's got the cafe racer style handlebars, um, which are not clip ons, but instead they're these old school sort of 1970s superbike conversion bars that's what people used to do to their super bikes in the late 70s mid to late 70s uh you know with the the cafe style mirrors not bar ends but bar mounted mirrors uh old school clocks which are really pretty cool and this little screen here uh nice nice led headlight as well and uh it's a pretty stylish bike it's also still got the tank knee pads here beautiful paintwork this really cool retro paintwork uh two-tone seat scalloped out cafe racer style um, but still a pillion seat still got pillion grab rails and the good pillion pegs there uh, the engine's been revised uh torque's been moved higher up in the rpm range uh, and it's a fantastic motor if you ride it uh lazily it's really rewarding so do your gear shifts shift slowly use the clutch when you shift gears roll off roll on the throttle gently and uh you know you can rev the thing and and it likes to to be revved a bit higher than the mid-range mid to a little bit higher and you make some pretty good progress it's got a beautiful gearbox in it um, just be nice and relaxed on your shifts, but really good, nice ratios. There's a little bit of vibration in the engine, as you'd expect from a parallel twin like this, but it's got a balance shaft and it doesn't progress, get any worse or, or better through the rev range. It's just there and it's just a light buzz through the handlebars and feet. It just lets you know that you're alive, really, and like that the bike's alive. It actually gives it a bit of character, so I really like it. Smooth fueling. Um, this one's idling a little bit too high. It's idling up nearly at 2000 RPM, warming up, and then it's settling at around 1200 RPM, which is a little bit annoying. I'm sure it should be idling a bit lower because I'd like to just hear that beat of a, about a 900 to 1000 RPM idle, even like 950, just to hear that nice beat from the exhaust because it's got a nice exhaust note as well. Um, you can hear it a bit on the bike. But when you're off it, uh, I was just watching Chris do some passes up and down here for video and photos, and it sounds awesome off the throttle. It's got that gurgle rah, when you shut the throttle and shift down gears, and even a few pops here and there. It's a really cool sounding exhaust system um, for a standard system. So they've done well tuning that. So I can't complain about the engine at all. It's just a nice motor. Um, it's a reasonably comfortable riding position for a cafe racer style bike. I'm pretty tall, 187 centimetres. Obviously you haven't got much room between your foot pegs and the seat. Um, it's a little bit cramped, but it's so narrow in here that there's still plenty of room to move your legs in and out and around and get a bit of comfort. Um, the pegs are really wide and at first they feel like they're in the way a little bit, um, especially moving the bike around and just the way you sit on it. But I got used to it after about 20 minutes. There's not, not much ground clearance. That is a little bit of a disappointment. Even for a cafe racer style bike, you want to be able to corner the thing and have a bit of fun. So it could do with a little bit more ground clearance. Um, the rear brake pedal's quite high on it and I'm um, finding it really hard to use that but it's adjustable so it's on the standard position and also the levers were on the standard position when I got them um, with the dots lined up but they were too high for me I, I actually couldn't I ride with my elbows high I like it so I couldn't brake and clutch properly so I've moved those down and then adjusted the mirror accordingly um, it's got really soft forks very soft uh, which is nice on the bumpy country roads, but they're a little bit too soft, especially when you're braking. You've got to grab the brakes, which are super powerful and have great feel front and back, um, but you've got to brake progressively as to not smash that front end down. So I'd like the forks to be slightly firmer, which is an easy fix. It could even be air gap, just a matter of reducing the air gap uh, might help there. The shocks, um, I feel, could be a little bit better. 
Um, I'd like a bit of adjustment, more adjustment in the shocks. There's not much rebound control there. You don't notice it if you're riding with a bit of finesse on the smoother roads, that if you hit some big bumps, the rear kicks you up out of the seat, literally out of the seat. So first thing I'd be doing if I bought one of these would be putting some good shocks on it. Uh, some nice fully adjustable um, high end shocks with a bit more ground clearance, just a smidgen. So a bit of ride height and I'd do the forks as well, firm them up a bit and it would be the most enjoyable corner covering, you know, cafe racer style bike out there. It'd be really good fun if you did that. Finish is fantastic, um, you know, as you always expect from Kawasaki, but like the clutch lever and the front brake lever and things like that do look a little bit cheap, but they can all be replaced. But overall, uh, a really cool machine, something different, something to cruise around on uh, and just enjoy low speed to mid speed cornering and uh, a lot of fun and very stylish. So there's plenty of bikes like this in the market, uh, varying price ranges as well. So get to your Kawasaki dealership and try one of these before you make your decision on anything. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and have a fantastic day.